Welcome to Graft. In this tutorial, we will take a look at how you can steal a color from a picture in Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see, I have an image of some lilies. I have an awfully black rectangle on top with a not so nice orange flower type inside of it. So what I want to do now, I want to use some colors which are in my picture to make it nicer on the eyes. So for that, you choose your eyedropper tool. Now, the eyedropper tool you can use to sample a color of an image, but if you just click like this, as you see, that doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. What you can do to have it work is press the shift key and then click. As you can see now, it has taken the color I wanted to sample. Now, if you want to apply that color onto something, you can, for example, select your rectangle tool and then select your eyedropper tool and shift click a color you want to use and it applies it automatically. Which, by the way, this color isn't nice at all, so we're going to change it. Let's see. That's too light. Okay, something like that. You get points, select your object you want to color Take your eyedropper tool and shift click the color you want to use. Now, I'm going to do the same with my text. I've selected text with my selection tool. I take my eyedropper tool and I'm going to shift click this nice pink color, which is too dark. We're taking the yellow color. Okay, now we have stolen the colors from our image and we know how to do that. Eyedropper tool, shift click. So you have your colors, you've used them on whatever you wanted to use them, but you want to use them more than once and you're not, you don't want to have to sample them each time because, you know, you have to sample the exact same spot. You have two options, you have multiple options to save the color. You can double click here and then you have your color number here. Or you can go to the swatches panel which you can also find under window and then swatches. And as you can see, it has the last color we picked. So the yellow color selected. If you then press the plus sign here, you can give the name yellow. For example, if you then press OK, it adds it to your swatch panel, your swatches, which means it saved the color and you can use it on multiple places in your project. So select your rectangle, click this, and it has the same color. So that's a way to make sure you don't have to always note down the color number or click every time you can save it to your swatches panel. So select the color you want to save in the swatches panel, click the plus, and then give it the name orange. Uh, press OK and it's added to your swatches. You can see that the color added to your swatches has that little white triangle. So by that you know it's a color you added yourself. And if you hover it, it shows the name. So that was a quick, very quick tutorial on how you can steal colors from an image, apply them to the objects you want to apply them and save them in the swatches panel in case you want to apply them multiple times. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this tutorial, maybe give it a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more and I hope to see you in the next one.